tell you what guys just when you think you're finally finished with the resistance band because the gyms are open full time you get the text no i'm not talking about the postcode lottery your boy got the track and trace text yesterday But not to worry guys, I've just received my negative test results and I feel fine in myself. So I don't know how it works, I don't know what's happened, but it is what it is. So I've got another four days in isolation, so I'm going to try and use them as productively as I can. Um, I almost feel quite morbid in saying this, but I do feel like I could have used some kind of little break anyway. So I'm going to try and just pack in some like active recovery days. And most importantly, for this video, I'm going to do a full day of eating. Obviously, we've survived quite a few lockdowns in the past few months, and I'm basically just going to run you guys through the meals that I sort of survived on. Survived is a very dramatic word, but you know, the, the meals that I had during lockdown, as well as some tips, tricks, and other useful things that might help you if you get to isolate. Because it sounds like a lot of people are getting that text as well. Let's go. Here's breakfast. Alright guys, so we are in the kitchen, first thing in the morning, uh, this is my breakfast, it has been for several months now. Basically we just got some my protein, protein pancakes simmering away right there, it smells beautiful. So I go for the cookies and cream one because I think A, they are the ones that stick to the pan the least, even if you have the most amazing baller or singing or dancing pan that doesn't stick. Some of the gobi syrup flavours do just cling. So. I go for the cookies and cream and also it's the best flavour. You can't quite see it but there is little chunks of like Oreo in there as well. And for two pancakes it's 320 calories, 3 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs and 62 grams of protein. So these are an absolute game changer. If you do struggle to get your protein in, which a lot of my clients do, just think, that is 62 grams of protein before you've even left the house and they have pancakes, man. Like, who can say they're having pancakes and being healthy? So today, I've put some sour cherries from the freezer in there and I'm also going to put some chocolate skinny syrup on there to make a beautiful chocolate cherry pancake. Let's go down a treat. So it's kind of mid morning snack time now. It's around about 20 past 11. But according to my smartwatch, I'm only on 1,200 steps. So compared to my normal 20 to 30,000 steps a day, I'm fairly sure I'm going to get some guy from Samsung coming on to check if I'm okay. But I said, man, I'm stuck in the house. So I'm really limited to the garden, my stairs, my house. I'm not going to get that many steps in these next six days, but that's fine. Uh, so guys, what I do when I'm on lockdown or isolation or, you know, any kind of prolonged period of being stuck at home, I basically stock up on sparkling water. Now, I hate sparkling water as well. Don't get me wrong. But if you mix it with some kind of amino acid, some kind of nice tasting powder, some kind of nice tasting supplement, make your own juice, make your own pop. And not only does it trigger your sweet tooth, and it also triggers your stomach because of the bubbles and carbonation. So you feel full, you feel satisfied, but you're also staying hydrated as well. Pro tip. All right, guys, here's our ingredients for lunch. So basically just kind of keep it low calorie again. Um, when you're stuck in the house all the time, it might be good to work out a slight calorie deficit, probably about two to 300 less than you would normally. So basically we are going for volume on a lot of our meals today. So we've got 100 grams of courgette and broccoli boiling away. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a bit of a pizza inspired egg scramble with these bad boys. So we've got some egg whites, some low calorie pizza topping, some a la protein cheese, some oregano, and a slice of light fat reduced nasty ass processed cheese. But these go a long way in delivering some of the cheesy goodness. So guys, like I said, we're gonna make a bit of a base out of the vegetables, and then we're gonna top it with a scrambled egg, with some pizza stuff, and then kind of make a low calorie anabolic pizza. And then once the 
big weights are simmering away. We're gonna take out all of your earthly frustrations about not being able to go to the gym. surprising how much a little bit of cheese, a little bit of oregano and a little bit of low calorie pizza topping really satisfies that pizza craving. So. Alright guys, it's tuna time as you can tell by Milo on the bench who is on the dreamer bulk right now. So we're gonna basically just make a little tuna wrap with these bad boys. So Uncle Jack's protein wraps come to about two pound a pack of four. So 50 pence of wrap, sounds quite expensive, but when it's 15 grams of protein per wrap, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Obviously, wouldn't be a tuna wrap without tuna. We'll get some lettuce for some munch and crunch. And we're also gonna put in some baby bell, and some smoky barbecue skinny sauce. Just remember, if you do get texted about isolating, it might not be as bad as you think. A little bit of rest and relaxation go a long way, and it can be relaxing during a time when things are so bananas. It's easy to feel pressure to hustle, grind, and excel, in our crazy accelerated world, but rest is equally as important. Even if you're a workaholic, use this time to apply yourself to other areas. Clean out the house, declutter mentally as well as physically. Declutter, play an instrument, spend time with your pets, actively focus on doing nothing, read, meditate, bathe, cook and eat mindfully, think, daydream, just be for a little while. Enjoy each moment because we might never get as much free time back again before retirement. Or, you know, lockdown number four. I'll see you guys again for that video. Alright guys, so I just finished this afternoon's workout. Very demoralizing, training back at home when you know for a fact the gym is open right now. But hopefully after a bit of a deload weekend, uh, I'm not gonna guillotine myself on the barbell when I get back on Monday, but it is what it is. Like I say, it's good to take a deload once in a while. So guys, before it gets too dark, I'm gonna go into the garden and I'm gonna forage the last ingredient for today's probably last meal. Well, now, in editing this video, I'm looking back and I'm noticing that I haven't actually had too many carbs today. No, I don't want you guys thinking that, oh my god, I'm having way more carbs than Joey is. What if they are the devil? No, relax. The only things I track during, not even during lockdown or isolation, the only things I track in my day to day life is making sure I'm A, getting enough protein, and B, eating the right calories. So today I'll have hit the deficit that I'm after but I'll have also hit the 300 grams of protein. Now, that is aggressively high, but again, when you're stuck at home, not training, not walking, not really doing much of anything, ideally you want to minimize muscle loss as much as possible. And a high protein diet is a very good way, it's, it's almost like a safety net to stop any muscle loss. So I'm going aggressively high today, but again, as long as you guys are getting roughly one gram of protein per pound of body weight, you'll be fine. So my new favorite dessert recently is this homemade protein parfait. All it is is a full sachet of sugar-free jelly, a pot of Brutley 25 grams protein from Aldi, and some fresh berries on the top and in the bottom. You get over a pint of food for around about 200 calories. Guys, 
guys, it is evening time. Uh, kind of peckish, so I figured I'd go for one more meal. This is hardly hashtag food porn. It's basically just some leftover broccoli, turkey mince, and one of those reverb mashed potato pots, which literally costs about 40 pence. Probably barely qualifies as food, but it tastes amazing. Super high in salt though, but you know, I really don't care about salt, so whatever. So guys, I've actually really enjoyed this full day of eating. Uh, I'm normally spending most of my time in like Lidl and Aldi, just buying things willy-nilly, but I've basically used today as a bit of an excuse to clear out the freezer, just getting rid of all these things. So now A, I've got space, and B, I've saved a bit of money as well. Uh, I'm always surprised how many things I have in the freezer. Once we buy these things, we tend to just store them away and that's it. So again, if you guys get the text through isolating, uh, it might be a good time to save some money and just try and find the nutritional stuff that's in your house and save some money as well. So guys, that pretty much takes us to the end of the day. I'm going to finish up editing this video and doing some PT work on the laptop and I'm going to call it a day um, and see what tomorrow has in store for us. If you guys have enjoyed this full day of eating, let me know. Hopefully we can do some more like these because I've had quite a fun time uh, taking you through my life. And, you know, I'm bored. I've not really got much else on until Sunday. So stay tuned for more videos, guys. Stay safe. Have a good day.